The Marvel Universe has entered the DC Universe. That is the District of Columbia. Yeah, photos have really just been pouring into our yeah. newsroom tonight, showing Marvel labeled equipment right by the White House. So, you know, we had to send our very own Marvel fan, Evan Kosloff, to Northwest DC to try and find out more. The photos have been pouring in on social media, supposed Marvel trucks in downtown DC, which is causing a lot of speculation about what's going on. So we came down to find it for ourselves and pretty quickly, yeah, we found those trucks too. We're talking about 15th Street Northwest in between Constitution Avenue and G Street. Along this stretch, we found laid out wires, trucks with massive film style lights and a row of cones blocking off parking. Not to mention a heavy dose of security trying to keep an eye on this nosy reporter. And as is often the case with Marvel movies, all of this is shrouded in mystery. In fact, by the Occidental Hotel, we spotted crews erecting a fence so nobody could see inside. So what do we know for sure? We have Marvel coming to Washington, D.C. Back in March, the mayor's office announced that a Marvel movie was going to be filmed in the district sometime this year. And just this week, D.C. police confirmed that a movie will be filmed starting tonight, leading to parking restrictions during the day and road closures from 6.30 at night to 6 a.m. over the next two days. As for what movie is being filmed, that's still unclear. Although fans have their theories. I heard they're filming uh, this new team movie called Thunderbolts. Overall Avengers movie. Another Iron Man, I'm hoping. We think it's the new uh, Captain America. Yeah. And if they're right that this is Captain America Brave New World set to release in 2024, that means that we could see actors like Anthony Mackie, Liv Tyler, and entering the MCU for the first time, Harrison Ford. Now we did reach out to Marvel Studios to ask them what exactly they're planning to film here, but at this point they're remaining pretty tight-lipped, meaning that we're just going to have to wait and see what exactly their endgame is. For WSA 9, I'm Evan Kozlov.